Hello everyone, and welcome back to Jesse Heck Creative. This time we're going over some villains from the DC LEGO Universe. Let's get to it. Let's start off with some of Batman's rogues gallery here with the villains. Here's Joker. He looks really nice. I like his face. Very Nicholson inspired. I kind of like that. The bang flag is a great touch with the little megaphone and the stick and the flag, and it's awesome. I love how this Joker looks. He's wonderful. But he's not my favorite Joker. You'll see who it is. Harley Quinn. Really nice over here. Good printing. I like the diamonds on her legs. You can't really tell about that little sort of background thing without it blending into her body, but it looks pretty good. The little diamond shape of her body is pretty crystal clear. I like her mask. I like the huge mallet she wields. It's pretty awesome. Riddler's nice, very classic, very simple, chill Riddler. I don't know if I like the lime green on him, though. Looks alright. Yeah, the red little question mark thing is a nice touch. I like the bowler hat, too. He looks good. Not my favorite, though. Very old school classic Riddler. Two-Face. One of my favorite Two-Faces I have. You know why. You know my logo's colors. This is one I'm keeping for sure. Definitely. I love this guy a lot. His face is really grody. Pretty nuts. I love the hair, too. Wonderful. Wonderful guy. I wish the hair was a different color, also. Poison Ivy. Really nice, intricate print. Really, really cool. Very uh, forest nymph. Wonderful. We got the really stand out with this print. Looks really nice. I really like it a lot. Beautiful. The contour looks good too. Wonderful figure. Bravo Lego. Really great printing. Bane's just Bane. Wish he was a little more muscular. He was a big fig in the Lego movie. The Lego Batman movie at least. And I think he's better represented like that. I like the sort of crackles and striations on his body. Little scars here and there on his huge abs. He looks big and chunky for a Lego minifigure. His mask is pretty cool too. It's sort of standard at least. But overall, a little nice batch of figures here. Really nice batch of figures. The back printing for these is really good too. Joker is really nice. Nice little coattails on there. Harley Quinn's is good too. The little jester bells. Riddler's good. Nice, just regular printing, pretty standard muscle tone. Two Faces is good. Poison Ivy's is still brilliant. And oh, Bane is a nice little back print here. Okay, the uh, sort of Bane juice, whatever he eats or drinks or whatever. You know what I mean? That stuff that he takes to make him more powerful. That's what it is right there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Actually, kind of elevates him for me. Good job, Lego. Still my favorite. We have a little smug expression on Joker, smug expression on Harley, but they just get, oh, and a very angry one for Poison Ivy. Yeah, they all look great. I love these figures a lot. So we have a few more Batman villains for you. We have the Riddler, who's really nice. I like how his body looks. A lot of question marks there, it's really cool. A lot of really nice question marks on him that are really hard to focus on for some reason. I really like the look of this guy. He looks really cool. Very drag racer, which we'll see in a little bit. Catwoman looks awesome. The contours look good on her. The purple, the silver, the black. The eyes are really nice too. Really good figure. I like the whip and the diamond. Nice touches. Penguin's pretty cool, but I just feel like he's been replaced by a newer one, I guess. But I still like him a lot. I love penguins in general, so I mean... Penguins are awesome. He's really nice. I like Penguin a lot. Good monocle look. A little print on him. He looks really nice. Mr. Freeze is pretty nuts. What else we got? Yeah, we got all this stuff. Jeez, a lot of stuff on him. This little breather thing. little breather piece. I think it's all one piece. Yeah, it's all one piece. Yeah, very intricate print. Very nice. Scary face, too. His weapons are pretty cool. I think I just gave them to him myself. Next up we got Scarecrow. Very classic villain. I actually totally forgot to give him his scythe. And now he's complete. Very Scarecrow like to have a scythe. It's a very huge scythe. Very creepy print too. He has a noose. He has a noose around his neck. That's Good job, Lego, for going that dark. That's crazy. Very creepy character. 
Man Bat just uh he's Man Bat. I don't know what else to say about him. Uh very nice fur print. I like the arms. Really cool. Pretty good look for this guy. Yeah, really good print on this one. I'm very impressed. Very, very impressed, Lego. So as far as back printing goes for Man Bat, we have a scared face as well as this nice little fur on the back for Scarecrow. Ooh, nice printing on the back for him. That's pretty cool. Even creepier. The noose continues around his neck. So there's the belt. A couple stitchings here and there. Mr. Freeze is nicely intricate. Pretty nice. More coattails for the penguin. Hmm, that's interesting. On the front, we have this kind of face. On the back, we have this kind of face. Is there a different version or something? Put on the head. Looks a little more classic y to me. That's pretty cool. Interesting. I like it. Not really much to write home about for. Well, I mean, on the face at least. On the body is really nice. Little ascot, little scarf trailing off to the back. I like the dual uh, legs over here. That's pretty cool. Very short legs for him. They can't move or anything. It's a shame. Can't really get too much good articulation with him either. Poor scared man bat. So here we have some vehicles to go over just really quick. Let's go over them. Catwoman has this nice little motorbike over here. It's pretty cool. You can hold the whip. You can hold the diamond in these little claw things over here. You can just slide her in. There's no anything like studs or anything on the inside. Really nice. Nice little build. Little pointy thing over here. Very Catwoman-esque. I like it a lot. The purple's pretty cool. Looks really good. I like it a lot. It's beautiful. Little rubber tires and stuff. Rolls really well. Nice figure. Looks really cool. It's good. Riddler's ja Drag Racer. It's amazing. Flames over here. It's very like a monster truck rally kind of on the top. Very dick dastardly, if you will. More question marks over here. It's beautiful. I really like it a lot. The Riddler's a really cool character, and I, I just sort of not admire him, but I like him as a character. He's really nice. Good wheels, good movement. Some bags back here for holding stuff. I don't know what this is. <laughs> this can move, this little spoiler back here. Although you don't want to really hit him in the back of the head. Maybe it could be like some kind of shield or deflector or whatever, but having it up a little bit looks really nice. Good printing on there too with that sticker. Another sticker over here. Looks good. My favorite vehicle has to be this one. Whack, 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 whack. That was me and Duck saying, I love this thing, and it's beautiful. Flick fire missiles. Little flick missiles, flick fire. Eh. They really do not do anything. They're like super jumpers. It's horrible. Yeah. I love this little umbrella. It's cute. Yeah. I love this thing. It's adorable. Little ducky. Oh, it's so cute. Wah, wah, wah. This little ice flow thing also comes with Penguin. Just a little diamond on some ice. Nothing really special. Wah, 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 wah. Just a couple bad guys and a Brucey over here. So we have Deathstroke or Slade, one of my favorite minifigures in this little collection here. This guy's nuts. I love the orange. I love the half mask thing. He was the villain of Teen Titans and. A great character in that also. He's also really good in Arrow, and I just love him. The half mask thing is so iconic. I saw it in the sh in the uh, series, and I'm like, yeah, we're doing Slade. I'm really happy. Yeah, I know more Slade than Deathstroke, because Slade is easier to say than Death... Death. Yeah, you know what I mean. You get what I mean. Lex Luthor. Business suit. Bald. He's pretty chill. I like this version better with the uh, armor. Awesome, awesome character. At least this minifigure. Awesome, awesome minifigure. The character's pretty cool, too. Got, like, the Eisenberg version. Which Brian Cranston would play him. Brainiac has a great design. I love him. He, he has a set that he comes in with this weird skull tentacle spaceship thing. It's pretty cool. He's very intricate. I like this little... The magenta and the green match together really well. And then we have Bruce Wayne. Just nice, simple, chill, good figure. Sand blue, a color we do not see too often. 
all these guys are just like, this is pretty easy. No no alternate face printing on the back. A couple of things for Brainiac. Nice printing on the uh, torsos, though. It's pretty good. Just simple. And we got this over here. I wonder if this does anything. I can't even take the head off. Because, yeah, I can't even take the head off because the friction is too much. Yeah, I, I'm not even going to try. I'm just going to try to keep this as is because it's... Kind of a rare figure. I like it a lot, actually. I want to keep it intact. Pretty good, though. I don't really see much printing back there. Ah, the heck, let's try it. Oh, wow. Cool. We get a little sort of power effect in the front. A little angry face. Kind of like Superman's angry face, I think. Or Batman's angry face. Someone's angry face. Printing back here is pretty good. Yeah. Looks nice. Put that head back on there. This video is pretty probably getting way too long. Simple print for this over here, and a really good print for Deathstroke. I love the multi-printed legs too. The boots look great. Always double-printed legs are a plus for me. They look wonderful. The sword's good too. I love the little samurai sword kind of thing. Yeah, they're all great. Love it. Deathstroke also comes with this little doohickey right here. Just have him standing on there, commandeering it. More flick fire missiles. Oh, wait, wait. You know, okay, if you add more weight to the front, it works way better. Why do they not do this that often? You also can <laughs> carry this little save around and just dangle it around. Yeah, uh, nice little thing. It's pretty good. Don't know why these clamps are here. I feel like you... Oh, wait, no, no, no. Sword storage, probably. You can put his swords there. Yeah, this is a great little vehicle. I love it. Uh, other than the fact that I love this guy a lot. He's really cool. Yeah, uh, what kind of diamonds we got in here? Just, uh, some, like, a one white diamond. That's fine. Pretty cool. It's the other one that Catwoman missed. Yeah, I love this guy. Different color. It's not orange and purple, but it's orange and dark blue, which is a nice color combo. Wonderful. Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for watching so far. Make sure to click like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. You can also click the bell icon for more creativity. Now let's get back to it. A few more villains to go. Here we go. Black Manta. He's a bad guy from Aquaman, and the movie made him love him even more. I wish they had a darker version of him. I think they do, but he's just... I don't really need him, honestly. I already have the regular old action figure from the movie. I'm fine with that. I like his sort of scary look on there. Looks really cool. Beautiful look. Is there a head underneath? Let's check. No, it's just the, what the heck is this? <laughs> what is this thing? Oh man, it's like a. I don't. I'm. I'm so sorry. I thought there was a head underneath there. Wow, that's nuts. Okay, moving on. Uh, Sinestro, a villain from the Green Lantern. Yeah, Green Lantern. Uh, he has a weird apparatus right here, a weapon kind of thing. Uh, apparently, Green Lantern's weakness is the color yellow, so no more pencils and stuff, I guess. Nice little emblem on there, a little more intricate. Why are the villains so intricate and the heroes are so boring and simple? Captain Cold, very, very intricate face print on there. Uh, yeah, he's pretty interesting. I forgot to give him his gun, though. little freezy gun right here, that's pretty cool. Yeah, looks more like flame, blue flame than water than ice, but I can I can dig it. Captain Cold's pretty cool. I like him a lot. I watched him in the uh, Flash TV show. They portrayed him well. I like the goggles; they're fun. Gorilla Grodd. How do I take him off the stand? <laughs> Little brain control things, or whatever. Gorilla Grodd's awesome. He's a big fig, which is a larger figure. Same articulation and stuff as normal. He can't move his legs, though. Be nice if he can move a big figure's legs. Love the printing on him. Very angry look. Good figure overall. What do you got in the backs of these guys? We have two angry faces for these guys. They look great. This one looks a little more sad, though. I'm sad. I'm Captain Cold. Wah. But yeah, these are nice figures. Uh, who's my favorite out of the bunch right here? I don't know. I like Grodd, because he's a big fig. Grodd's really cool. I've always liked the... Uh, I, I liked him in... Uh, what do you call it? Teen Titans. When he was in that show. Remember that show? I love that show. 
yeah, that's all of them, I guess. They're pretty cool. Nice little villain roundup. So just a few more things to mention. Gorilla Grodd wants his bananas, and he wants them bad. So we got this banana truck for Gorilla Grodd to chase. It's pretty nice. This thing can move around and shift and fall off and spill. The bananas are great. I love these little things. Banana is a great word to say, by the way. Banana, banana, banana. It's wonderful. A uh, little some stuff over here. We got a license plate. Not in the front. That's weird. Banana company. Just the banana company. We have a little guy in there, too. A little banana salesman. Oh, my God. That's adorable. A little banana man on there. It's so cute. Is that Ben Banana? That's adorable. Aw. For those of you who don't know who Ben Banana is, check out my Food for Thought video. It should be in my videos, or a little tab coming up, up there. This poor guy is so scared. Oh, he's always scared. That's terrible. Oh, this guy. Oh, little banana salesman. Don't worry. Uh, it's going to be fine, banana salesman. It's going to be okay. We'll just put you back in your car and have you be chased by Gorilla Grodd for all eternity. What a sad life to lead. Oh, this thing rotates too. As if life wasn't bad enough for the banana man. Oh, li life is not... Oh, you poor banana man. You poor, poor banana man. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so scared for you. Oh, poor banana man. So one of my favorite little gimmicks from this. Uh, we got this little uh, Sinestro Green Lantern capture thing. Where apparently he's captured the Green Lantern's lantern. So all you gotta do is give it a kick and it opens and you get the lan- You get the lan- You get the lantern. <laughs> That's it. Nice little Green Lantern, by the way. Looks really cool. Hmm. It's good. Yeah, I love the, the little kind of like spring open things when you just move things. There was a little jungle set years ago that had this kind of function where you pull away a diamond and the skeleton almost chops with an axe. I like the print on this. Nice, simple, just, I love this little simplicity. The simplicity of Lego is wonderful, how they keep things simple. And now you got your little Green Lantern back. And you die or something. Lastly, we have a dark side who's awesome. Man, I love this figure. I love this little transport. I love this whole thing. Uh, it's a bionicle piece. Look at this. It's bionicle stuff from Hero Factory, I guess. Whatever. It's a bionicle piece, kind of. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's beautiful. Just boom. It just totally wrecks everything in sight and falls off my table, and I have to reach and grab it now and waste time. Uh, yeah, this thing moves up and down. You can shoot it with this. We got a sticker right here. These little beautiful what, gravity things or something? I don't know. It's awesome. We got these little... What, what is it? Uh... What do you call them? It's... Uh... Levers, I guess. They're called levers. Oh my gosh. We got stickers on them. They look great. I love the color scheme of this. Oh, that's cool. You can, you know, hit them back. Superman. Boom. You're dead. Good. Yeah. Uh... Wonderful little thing. I love how the, this integrates with that. Looks great. Looks really cool. Little handles here for some reason. Why? I don't know. But yeah, the little fun. It's function too. It's awesome. Bottom's pretty good. Dark side. Wonderful figure. He's like the Thanos of basically DC. Uh, Superman has a great speech called "The World of Cardboard," where everything he treated up till now was a world of cardboard. Where if you broke it, you'd totally just be a horrible person. But now, with Darkseid as the most ultimate being around, you can really actually show the world what he can do against Darkseid, seeing as he doesn't have to go easy on him, like he does with humans. Love the face print right there. Scary face print. Got a cracks everywhere. It's nuts. I love his face print. Little cracks. Over here, there you can see him much better. On his face, on his body. Wonderful, wonderful figure. Looks really cool. Wow. Wish there were some cracks in the back. That'd be nice. Dark side's amazing. I love his figure. I love how he looks. The gold, the blue, the red. He's awesome. Good figure all around. So lastly, we have the Joker's Funhouse, which it's a pretty good set. I like it a lot. 
we have the Joker's head it can open, you know, for this little mine cart, little truck thing. I don't have the other piece of the track, but basically what you do is you push this back here, you push this, and it goes over there. Pretty fun function. Rolls off to who knows where. Usually would roll this way back into it, kind of, but say la vie, I guess. I don't have the piece that it connects to, I guess. It's somewhere in my collection, I think. What you can also do here, you can also take a minifigure, let's get the Joker, and hit him with this mallet. Knock him off there. I think the main function is supposed to be you knock him into the car and he rolls away. But I guess, whatever. We also have the Riddler's little question booth in here. Got a Riddler head that's pretty cool. That moves. Pretty simple set. We have this little crane winch thing. You can attach a minifigure to it. Pull that up a little bit. As it slowly pulls the Joker up. Maybe you give it some slack, put it over here. Have him dangle a little bit. That's pretty fun. A little bit down below, you got some stairs. Somebody's taking a nice little walk up the stairs, and they go on this little platform right here. If they, if you could stand a little bit, move them a little bit. Like that. Pull this thing. And he falls through. Pretty nice set. Couple neat functions. It's pretty cool. I'm just missing this little piece that should go over here. I like the stickers on it. One says danger ahead. The other says watch out, but it's blocked by this, so that's kind of amusing. Finally, we have a little sort of tilt-a-whirl kind of thingy over here. If he would just stand, it would be great. <laughs> he falls in the trap door. Okay. All right, that's okay. Get him like that. Put him like there. Whee! Like that. That's it. <laughs> he falls back in the trap door and down and out of our lives. I love this Joker print. That's amazing up there. It's a really nice set. Looks really cool. Comes with a lot of good minifigures. It comes with that bat trike I showed off earlier. Yeah. Oh, and also I forgot to mention. You know, Black Manta has this shark that he's a friend with or whatever. You can just ride it or whatever. Can this work? No, it can't. Let me try again. Yeah, it worked! Okay, cool. Yeah, it kind of works with every minifigure. You don't need this little car. You just need a shark. That's awesome. You can also populate the area with little Joker robot clown things that are just adorable. I love these. They got little wind-up backs. They got little feet right here. They have a little gun. <laughs> That's horrible. They have little heads that can move up and down. They're really cute and nice. Little wind-up cog in the back. Yeah, a little switch on the top, a little lever. Doesn't work. Nothing. Hey, there we go. Okay, yeah. That's the fun house with a bunch of clowns in it. A whole bunch of clowns in the fun house. You can't have a fun house without clowns, can you? So yeah, that's my review of all these guys. They're all really cool, super awesome, and just great minifigures. Thank you so much for watching Jesse Heck Creative. Feel free to click like, subscribe, share, or leave a comment. You can also visit us at jesseheckcreative.com where you'll find more reviews like this one. Thanks again for watching and keep being creative. Stay tuned!